Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, traders. This is your weekly recap. We're going to have a look at what happened on the Dow Jones and also the Australian stock market, which is the XAO. Right now, we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and we're looking at basically the last week and see what happened on the market. We can see one, two, three, four, five days. This is basically what happened um, on five days. Big shirt up Monday. Tuesday really didn't do much. Wednesday had a nice down day, followed by an up day on Thursday and Friday. Spent most of the time to the upside, but soon closed lower on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So right now we can see we have a nice downtrend caused um, from the Dow Jones. And what we can see here is that we get a bit of a sideways pattern through here. And it's actually this pattern here that's forming on the chart. It's actually selling. It's actually saying that sellers are in control. But buyers are starting to pick up. Okay, if you want to know the full details, come to our trading room and I'll explain to you in step-by-step -step format how it works. But right now, it's showing you that sellers are in control still. But it's showing me that the buyers are, are trying to take this, um, take this up a little bit. So um, this is giving me a sign that we might have um, a up week looking at the market. If we look at just a weekly chart. This is a weekly chart. You can see this is what actually happened last week. Now, last week we can see that the market, this is a weekly chart, and we're looking at the weekly bar here. The low and the high, the open and the close, are based on weekly results. You can see the market actually opened, went down a little bit, screamed to the upside, came down, actually closed lower there. So, I reckon we could see, if I could just turn this over to a candlestick chart, you can see we have a little body in a big long candlestick. I reckon we could see some nice upside action um, this looking forward week. We've had a bit of sideways action, no more downside, big cracking down. So I reckon we could get a bit of upside action looking from the Dow. Now once again we're looking at the daily chart. And once again we can see that the, this is a candlestick chart once again. And we can see the market stair-stepping down nicely. And overall sideways, this pattern is once again showing that the sellers are in control, but the buyers are trying to take this in control. And the pattern is showing me that, the, that if the market keeps pushing up, then it's showing me that the buyers are now confirmed to take control. And we could have a nice run up to probably about the 10,000 mark, even a bit higher um, by the end of the week. So be a bit careful around the market. Uh, I wouldn't be bullish or bearish on the market, but just take it as it is and be a day trader if you are a day trader and, and see what's happening out there. Let's go look at the, the let's go look at the XAO. Okay, this is the XAO. This is I'm recording this on a Monday, so this is Monday. So let's delete Monday, and this is exactly what happened last week. Okay, uh, we're looking at what happened last week. There's a bit of a double bottom through here. Okay, looking at a bit of a double bottom, we can see once and now twice. Bit of a double bottom, so that's a nice reversal bottom there. And now this is Monday as I'm recording this uh, for a lot, for last week's uh, video, for last week uh, recap. What's happening? Here. That double bottom and this update is showing there's a lot of significant support through there. So because of that happening, and we can see here, if we look at it, it actually looks like a double bottom. If that does hold, which it is holding, I reckon we could see probably 4,300 in the next couple of days looking at the XAO. The reason why is because that double bottom is nicely formed through there, and we could see, we could see a pop to the upside. Now, if we do see a bias take control, which the pattern on the Dow Jones does look like, that's going to happen. If that does, the buyers do take control, that will drag our all ordinaries up, and we could pro quite possibly see a nice little up week this week. So be watch out for that, um, that the sellers have brought it all, all the way down. And I do believe that the worst uh, is being seen from the market. Okay, everyone is getting very, very scared at the moment, and but if you notice, there's a lot, a lot of people out there, including Warren Buffett, using his own personal account to buy shares. In fact, eight million dollars worth of his own money went into buying shares today or the last last couple of days what's that saying to you if the big fellas like him are doing it why be scared because they know this is just market 
and they know it will it will come back up and it will do its thing again. So don't be worried about this. This is just a correction or a bit of a bull market, a bear market right now. And we could start, we could start to see the market there stepping back up into a nice bull market. If we have a look at the uh, weekly chart, this is uh, we're looking at this here. And if I just remove these dots here, we can see this is actually uh, the start of the new week. But this is what happened last week. Market ran down and nice little sort of support here. And we can see our Monday. This is just Monday of this week here. It's had a nice little pop to the upside. So what I can say here, traders, is looking for some more upside action out of this. But I do say when trading this, be very, very careful. Be very, very cautious. And that's exactly what we do in the trading room every day. We're cautious and we make sure I stack the odds on our side on every single given trade. So well done. Well done, traders, for stepping up and doing what it takes to be successful in this market. If you want to learn more about this market, come and check us out in the trading room and I'll be gladly to help you out. So overall, we're looking at that. Let's have a quick look at the S&P. This is the S&P market as well. S&P market, once again, like the Dow Jones, looking at a weekly chart here. The S&P had a nice run down and this went sideways overall. Okay, a little, a little day through here. And if we look at the daily chart, we can see the sort of similar pattern that happened on the Dow Jones. Now this is the S&P 500 index and we can see uh, on this pattern forming right now um, it's showing me that the sellers are in control but the buyers are trying to take control through this pattern just on the chart. Once again if you want to learn how, the, how, do I, how I analyze this market and how I form my opinion come and check us out in the trading room and uh, I'll show you exactly in detail what I'm looking at here and why I'm looking at the buyers might be taking control if they do we're probably going to have a nice little up week through here. So that's what we can see for what happened last week. And looking forward, this is what we also can see um, with the markets. If you do have any questions or anything at all, please let me know and I'll be gladly to help you out as much as I can. Please take care. Please look after yourself and also your financial future. Please be careful in this market because it still is rough and tumble and we don't know if this is the end of the bear market. I'm not calling this the bottom. I'm not calling this anything. I do believe the bottom of the next couple of months is going to come and we're going to start seeing a bit of a bull market going into sort of mid next year. I believe that. Uh, but right now, the market is still bearish and we are in a bear market and we are significantly in a downtrend. But there are patterns and significant support levels showing that it wants to push to the upside, at least for this week alone. So check that out and see what I'm, tell you what I'm talking about. And also come to the trading room and check us out. We're having a huge success rate. And I just want to give a big shout out to Sarah. Sarah, well done. You're in the trading room. She's taken her first two live trades and they've both been successful. One was a 30% overnight. Well done, well done. It was out in the afternoon, out the, out the next morning with 33% on her investment and, um, and also a 25% return on investment overnight. So Sarah, well done for, stick, for, for sticking with us in, in the trading room. You did the right thing. You waited for some good trades and now you've been successful. And that's what we like to see. Successful in an overall tumble market. Come us in the trading room and we can also help you out and also help you be successful in this market as well. Please take care and I'll all talk to you next week with the next week really daily recap. Trade in the stock market is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee your profit from the information provided. The information in these videos is meant for educational purposes only. That being said, I've been trading the market profitably for many, many years. So please, do your own homework and make sure you look after your current financial situation.